Good day my viewers. Today we are here from our Just Reef Farms. And today we have our agronomist from T. Geddes Grant and Bonanza, Mr. Lee. And Mr. Lee is going to give us an overall view of what he's seen based on the watermelon production today. And also make some recommendations to our watermelon growers. So Mr. Lee, nice to have you today. Okay, thank you so much. Well, um, as you know, Bonanza Seed has been in the watermelon um, seed distribution trade for over 30 years. We have consistently provided high quality genetics to our farmers, both in Jamaica and globally. And today is an expression of the quality at the Simpsons farm. Yes, sheep. Very high vegetation also very prolific growth based on the genetics and as you can clearly see we have very good quality watermelon growing here in this parish the fields very importantly is very clean we see very good um, balance between vegetative and reproductive and also um, generative growth so we have a good mix of leaf development and fruit formation which is what we need always need a balance and that is what the characteristics that are bred into our genetics especially the crimson king line that we have here also what we are doing on this farm because it's very important we do a lot of research variety trials and also with the this farm here we are doing different variety trials we have three different um, genetics that we are evaluating eventually we will select the best so that we can commercialize it but all in all, hardworking guys on this farm and the owners, and we are very pleased with the progress and the sort of um, transition that they have made into melon cultivation. In terms of certain basic recommendations that I would suggest for farmers, especially in Jamaica, is that we need to implement good crop rotation practices. The issue of soil fertility, disease and pest management is very important but more importantly getting the right genetics for the right climate that we face especially in the midst of this climate change issue and working with the agronomists and everyone so that we can build the best um or we could say good agronomic practices for watermelon but i can definitely tell you what i see here is phenomenal and i know they're gonna have a bumper crop Thanks again for your views. Okay, so thank you Mr. Lee from Tigres Grant and Bonanza. We are happy to have you today. And it's always a pleasure to be in partnership with Bonanza and Tigres Grant. As, as Mr. Lee has expressed, you know, we continue the development of watermelon farming throughout the Jamaica, the Caribbean and the rest of the world. And thank you again viewers and we say Masalama and big up yourself from Jamaica. Alright, thank you.